Hello boys and girls, I am Miss Moran and welcome to your math lesson. Today we're gonna be learning about something a little bit different. We're gonna be talking about a sequence or sequencing. What sequence means is the order that things happen, the order of events, like what happened first, what happened second, what happened third, okay? So here I have a picture of a sequence of things that happen in the sky. So the first thing that happened was the sun was out and then suddenly became cloudy. There were gray clouds coming out. And then the second thing that happened is it started to rain. You see the rain right here? And then the third thing that happened was it stopped raining and the sun came out and a rainbow came out, right? So that's our sequence. What, what happened first? What happened second? What happened third? And sequencing is very important. Um, we will use it in math. You can also use it in uh, when you're reading a book, like what happened first, what happened second, what happened last in the in the story. And in general, in life, you know, when we're doing things, there's always a sequence to things. What happens first, second, and third. For example, if we are brushing our teeth, first we're gonna get our toothbrush, and then second thing we're gonna put toothpaste on our toothbrush, and then third we're gonna brush our teeth. So sequencing is very important. So um, we're gonna do some activities where we're gonna figure out what's the correct order or the sequence of events. And then after that, I'm gonna tell you about your homework. All right, so let me show you that real quick. Okay, boys and girls, for this activity, we're gonna sequence the pictures. The pictures are not in order. We're gonna put them in order up here. So we're gonna put here what happens first, what happens second, and then what happens third or the last. So here we have a picture of a little boy and here it looks like he's decorating some cookies. And here it looks like he is making some cookie dough. And over here, it looks like he's putting a cookie tray with cookies in the oven. So what do you think goes first? Can he decorate the cookies first? No, right, because he hasn't made them yet. So this one, he's making the cookies he's preparing the dough the cookie dough so this one will be the first one the next thing is he going to decorate them or is he going to put them in the oven well first he needs to put them in the oven because um he can't decorate it if it's not cooked right so he's going to put the cookies in the oven to cook and then the last thing or the third thing is that he is going to be able to decorate the cookies so that happened first then second, and then third. First, he did the cookie dough. Second, he put the cookies in the oven. And third, he decorated the cookies. Okay, so now we're gonna look at this one. And on this one, this little girl's standing with a pie. And this one, she's making the pie. And here, she's putting the pie in the oven. So what do you think goes first? So the first thing is that she's gonna uh, do the pie, right? She's gonna prepare all the ingredients and mix them up. And then what goes second? It's gonna be this one, right? She's gonna put the pie in the oven to cook. And then when it's finally cooked, she's gonna take it out and it'll be ready. So first, she'll prepare everything for the pie. Second, she'll put the pie in the oven to cook or bake. And third, the pie is gonna be ready. Okay, this is our, the next one. Um. So here we have a mom and a little boy putting groceries away in the refrigerator. Here we have the mom and the little boy in the supermarket or the store buying or getting things, right? Getting groceries. And here we see the mom is paying. So what do you think goes first? Yes, yeah, so first the mom and the little boy are gonna go to the grocery store and get the things they need, right? The second thing they're gonna do is they're gonna pay for the groceries. And the last or third thing will be that they will put away their groceries, okay? So this is very similar to what your homework is gonna look like, but instead of having the words, um, it's, instead of saying this word, it's gonna have a number one, a number two, and a three. So you're gonna sequence it, what goes first, what goes second, and then what goes third. All right, so let me show you what your homework is going to look like. Okay, so now I'm gonna to talk to you about the homework. So for the homework, um, 
we're going to have the sequence here. If this is what can, what happens first, then what happens second, and then what happens third. Okay? So here are the pictures. These pictures are the ones that you're going to move up to the numbers. They're not in order. So you have to look at the picture and think about it. By the way, for this homework, everything's going to be kind of like a Christmas Christmas themed. All right? So, um... For this first picture, we see a little girl and we see the Christmas tree and here the Christmas tree already has lights and the little girl is decorating the Christmas tree. On, and then on this picture, we have the little girl standing by the tree. The tree, the Christmas tree has no decorations and she has a box with decorations on it. And then on this third picture, uh, the little girl is standing next to the Christmas tree and it's all decorated already, right? So what do you think goes, what happens first? She puts up the decorations. She's gonna barely gonna start putting the decorations or the tree is already decorated. Okay, so the first one will be this one, right? There's nothing done to the tree yet and she has a box of decorations. So that's gonna happen first in our sequence. That's the first thing. All right, so what's gonna happen second? She's gonna, um, Decorate the Christmas tree or it's already decorated and she's standing next to it. So the second step will be that she is decorating the Christmas tree. And this will be last. It's already decorated. So what happened first was that she took out the box of decorations and she's standing next to the Christmas tree that doesn't have any decorations. The second thing is that she started decorating. And the third thing is that she finished decorating. Right, so here is um, the second slide. Again, they're not in order. The pictures are not in order. You are going to put them in order, like what happened first, what happened second, what happened third. And here we see a little boy next to a snowman on this picture. So you're going to decide where that one goes. And then this one, um, the little boy is putting a head on the snowman body. And then on this one, he's barely making a ball to make a head. So you have to look at those three pictures and decide which one's going to go first, which one goes second, and which one goes third. On this third page, we have a little girl that's making, it looks like she's going to be making uh, cookies, right? So on this picture, it looks like she is uh, forming or shaping the cookies and putting them in a tray. And here, she's decorating cookies. And on this one, she's uh, putting in the cookie tray in the oven. So which one do you think will go first, which one will go second, and which one will go third? All right. This one's maybe a little hard, so you may want to ask your mom, like, how do we, if you don't know how, I've never seen somebody make cookies or you haven't helped your mom make cookies, maybe you wanna ask her to help you on that one. And then on our final uh, slide or page, um, again, these are not in order. You have to put them in order. What happens first, what happens second, what happens third. Here we have a little boy with a, with a gift and it's all wrapped up with a bow. And here we have the little boy bringing a box and gathering all his supplies. And on this one, we have the boy um, taping the gift paper, the gift wrap paper to the box. So basically this boy is uh, wrapping up a gift for Christmas. So you have to decide what happened first, what happened second, and what happened last. I'll give you a clue. This one right here is probably gonna be our last one because that's when he was done decorating it or gift wrapping it. Okay, so this is your homework for today for sequency. What happens first? What happens second? What happens last or third? I hope you enjoyed this activity and I will see you here tomorrow where we will continue learning more about math things. All right, bye-bye.